We're getting quite a few more Tesla events than I was expecting this year, and hopefully Elon sticks to the timeline a little bit better on this one. Last night he just announced Tesla AI Day would take place on August 19th, although he didn't say the year, so let's not jump the gun on this one, but similar to Battery Day, it might end up being a year late, August of 2022, but he really did not go into much detail on what we should expect at this event, which honestly gets me kind of more excited because we're not sure what we're getting into with this one, but what he did say in response to Stephen Mark Ryan on Twitter was that the sole purpose of the event is to recruit AI talent, which honestly reminds me a lot of his last Neuralink event where they said recruitment was kind of the main goal, but simultaneously, at recruitment events, you kind of want to demonstrate the progress and the development you've made to get people more excited. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of technical aspects to this event where they go into the nitty gritty details of how artificial intelligence and machine learning works, and it may not be super interesting to the average person, similar to Tesla Battery Day, where we get into the weeds on the chemistry and the science of mass production and that type of thing, but I'm excited because I hope the narrative at this event can change a little bit. I definitely think it's a tad awkward when I very clearly remember watching Tesla Autonomy Day back in early 2019, and them saying that full self-driving would be feature complete by the end of 2019, and probably we'd have a million robo-taxis by the end of 2020, so obviously that that didn't happen, and a little bit more self-awareness on this autonomy development would be very much appreciated on my side. Like acknowledging that there's been a lot of hard challenges with coming up with an autonomous driving system, which I think is fair. I just think in the past Tesla, and especially Elon, has leaned into the idea that this technology is way closer and right around the corner, and it's really ready, we just have a few minor details to get right. And I honestly don't think there's anything wrong with Tesla pouring a bunch of money into the autonomous driving development. And I think that Tesla is closer to robo-taxis than any other company. They've got the hardware down, they're building their own silicon, and they're using fleet data to train their algorithms to learn how to drive better. And actually by tomorrow, beta 9.1 should be dropping. So we'll see if Tesla Vision has some kind of great breakthroughs with all of the training that the limited beta users are testing right now. But I understand that there's a giant pot of gold basically for any company that's able to crack the robo-taxi code, because if you are able to start driving people around, particularly in electric vehicles, which cost much less money to maintain and much less money to charge per mile, and you don't even have to pay a driver, that means that you can instantly undercut Uber and Lyft or any taxi service that has ever existed, and suddenly, if robo-taxis do become possible, then it makes a lot less sense for Tesla to sell their vehicles to people, because they could make a lot more money through their vehicles by just turning them into the robo-taxi fleet, but the truth is, I don't think we're that close. I think that with the risk appetite Tesla has currently presented, with how slowly they want to roll out updates and how cautious they bring people into the limited beta program, I don't think that robo-taxis are a year or two away, but I'm okay with that because my dream with autonomous driving and the reason I'm such a big Tesla fan is because I hate driving personally. You know, I'm not the type of person that just likes to go on a Sunday drive. No, I want the car to do as much as it possibly can. So if one day I could just get in the car, tell it where I want to go, and then it drives me to my destination, and while it's driving, I can watch a movie with my wife, I could read a book, I could hang out on my phone, I could get some work done. That's my dream. Like, my whole end vision of this is level three. Just like, I'm in the car, and yeah, in an emergency, I can take over and whatnot, but for 99% of driving, just let me do what I want to do. In fact, my biggest dream is being able to to sleep as I go on road trips, although that might technically be a little bit higher than level three. I would just love the idea, especially when I have family members that live so far away from me, to be able to plug in their address late at night and then I go to sleep in the car and I wake up in the morning and I'm at my family's place. I never really fell in love with the idea of not owning my car and just renting out robo taxis whenever I need to go somewhere and buying a car that I then opt into the robo taxi network and then the car makes me passive income, but then I have to go and clean the interior because of all the public use that my car has gone through. I never really cared much about the level 5 future. I just want to get in the car and have it take me where I want to go. And the famous full self-driving video that I've used in my videos for a long time now, that was originally dropped at Autonomy Day in 2019. And I think what would instill a lot of confidence and a lot of excitement in recruiting AI developers, plus just Tesla investors and people who are a fan of the brand in general, is if Tesla had more videos like that that were more up-to-date and not just 
driving around the Fremont area, but Tesla showing what their internal development is looking like, maybe even higher advanced tech than the limited beta that certain YouTubers are on right now, and being able to show people how good the software can work when it's in a difficult situation like heavy rain or scenarios where the road markings are not very clear, and just kind of documenting a lot of the improvements that Tesla has been discovering internally and showing how close they are to letting people not keep their hands on the wheel and starting to make that next jump to level three autonomous driving, which means the driver is not necessarily required to pay attention. There still has to be a driver, but in a lot of circumstances, they don't have to look at the road and that type of thing. That type of coverage would be really interesting to me, and I'm really excited to see what kind of narrative they take with this event, because frankly, I'm going to get a little bit annoyed and my eyes are going to roll really, really hard if we end up getting into this event and they say, yeah, full self-driving will be feature complete by end of this year and then robot taxis end of next year it's like a, just an exact repeat of the timeline we got in 2019 and it was like okay tesla well, you didn't do it that time so i don't think you're gonna do it this time but eventually the likelihood of them achieving it has to go up a little bit every year right so on one hand the more promises someone makes that they can't keep you start to lose faith in them but on the other hand they must be getting somewhat closer with all these years of development and all the advancements with tesla vision and the limited beta program and that fleet learning hopefully they can talk a little bit more about the dojo computer although i've seen a ton of people saying don't expect dojo to be the main focus of this event it's mainly about recruitment and there's certainly a lot of people out there that i think are going to put too much hype into this event and think that level five is done and that's why they're having an event next month i don't think that's why especially if the main focus is recruitment if anything that's a sign of they are not done and they've got a long way to go so that's why they're trying to hire people to help them out but ultimately driving on city streets is one of the most dangerous things that we all do on a daily basis and we don't really think about it too much. Dying in a car crash is one of the most common forms of death in this country and in the world and trying to find a way of making vehicles safer and doing more of the boring aspects of driving that results in people checking their phone or not paying attention to the road or even driving just sleepy that directly causes a ton of deaths so I do think this is a very noble cause to go after. I'm not against Tesla trying to advance autonomous driving and I'm perfectly fine with them selling a subscription or a giant software package to access a ton of these full self-driving features because all of this development and software and hardware it's got to cost a lot of money and it's not a cheap development to get into so I'm fine with Tesla selling this software package and trying their best to make it better I just have more of an issue with the marketing side of things like I wish they wouldn't call it full self-driving especially when they've been selling a software package called full self-driving for like five years now and they still of course have not delivered on what that package entails I wouldn't mind it at all if they rebranded it to autopilot pro or just enhanced autopilot just bring that back and include all of the best features you can possibly make in that package and maybe don't sell a software package called full self-driving until you have full self-driving. I think that would extinguish a lot of the criticism and complaints that the media gives Tesla these days, and it would also just be more accurate, you know, we're not calling the Model 3 a Cybertruck. Why? Because it's not a Cybertruck. So that's why I don't want to call full self-driving full self-driving, because that's really not what it is. But I really, truly hope Tesla can prove me wrong, and they can deliver on this robo-taxi future, because hey, at the end of the day, if it does end up being cheaper to just rent out robo-taxis and have them ride you everywhere, and that becomes cheaper than traditional car ownership, then maybe a Tesla is a lot closer in my future. I just don't have to buy it. I just rent it whenever I need to go somewhere. But either way, I love talking about this type of thing. I love speculating on what's going to get announced. And of course, I will be live streaming my reaction to this event next month whenever it happens. There's a good likelihood of it getting delayed a week or two, so don't hold your breath. But I guess I haven't formally announced it on this channel, so I'm not going to talk about it too often. But I did launch the YouTube memberships feature, which is only two bucks a month. You get exclusive Elon emojis that you can use in the comment section and during live streams you'll be getting loyalty badges next to your name that change over time. I don't expect everyone to do this obviously but I do love making videos for you guys regularly. This is my full-time job and when people directly support like this we're able to ensure that the channel is free of sponsorships. I'm really glad to say that ever since the beginning of this channel to now we have not had a single sponsored video and I'd like to keep it that way moving forward but also YouTube 
YouTube members will get access to exclusive posts about videos that I have yet to make and what I'm currently working on. I'll ask you questions and post photos for the thumbnails and ask like what do you want addressed in this next video. You also get to access premium channels in our Discord, so if you ping me in there, I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. But I don't want any pressure. I'm not going to bring this type of thing up regularly, so just keep in mind by watching these videos you are helping me and that's enough for me. I'm happy that people are willing to watch them. I hope you guys are enjoying the content and if you want to supercharge the channel, that does help. It does make a difference and I'll do my best to give you some exclusive perks that come along with that. Plus, the more members we get, the more custom emojis we can have. So, if we get more and more people signing up, then we can have as many Elon reactions as you can imagine. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.